Hello everyone, my name is Allison Persaud and this is my presentation for my final creative art project for the Intro to Humanities course. For this final project, I have been inspired by the work of the artist Deborah Braz. She, I was unable to find specifics about the time of her birth, but she grew up in Missouri. After receiving her Bachelor of the Fine Arts from Mary, Maryville U University, she moved to Texas and she worked as a mixed media artist, a ceramics restorer, a director of an art studio and gallery until 2013. She currently lives in Los Angeles. Deborah Braz's art is featured at the Houston Center for Contemporary Craft, as well as the American Museum of Ceramic Art and the Austin Museum of Art. On her website, she states that her modified ceramic sculptures are her way of understanding and changing the meaning of objects. She looks for decorative figurines over a period of months or years until she is satisfied. She then dismantles them and creates something out of the ordinary using ceramic restoration techniques that she says reflect an overlap of real science and science fiction. So when I was searching for an artist um, and an inspirational work, Deborah Braz's work stood out to me as incredibly unique because the social angle of her work is related to nature. She takes her ideas from the world in which people know to be right or the truth, and she makes use of the manipulation technique by turning them into something out of the ordinary. She has created the ceramics of guardians or winged dogs, as you see in the left picture, and elephant seals in the right picture. The guardian sculpture includes two hybrid animals of a bird-dog combination. Their structures consist of the body textures of a dog with the varying colors and lighter texture of a bird's wings. I have been inspired by these pieces by Deborah Braz to create a my own hybrid animal out of two known animals and I will make this out of clay. I'll show her spirit by uh, using the clay to sculpt a turtle seal. I'll first uh, work off of a sketch when making my own sculpture. To begin the sculpting process I began with some modeling clay from Sargent Art. I took a piece of the clay to start with the turtle shell or the base of the sculpture. Using my hands, I formed a piece into an oval and then began to pinch the clay towards the middle so that it would form more of a dome shape instead of just being flat. This made the sculpture look more realistic. After I was satisfied with the shape of the shell, I began to add some details to give some dimension to it. I first started out with a little plastic rod that was curved and I began with to detail some lines. However, this wasn't really working out too well so I switched to the tip of a mechanical pencil and I was able to make more precise lines with this. After I was satisfied with that, I switched to, or I moved on to making the turtle, seal turtle's lower limbs, and I used some floss to make a clean cut in the clay to, so it's less messy. Then I began to shape the lower limbs. Continuing to work off the sketch, I finished shaping the lower limbs, and as you can see in the first picture, I'm just comparing them to make sure they're somewhat identical. And in the second picture on the right, uh, you can see that I have attached them to the frame or the uh, turtle seal's shell. Uh, and then in the third picture, you can see I've uh, shaped the upper limbs in a similar fashion, fanning them out to make them look more like a seal's. And in the final picture, you can see I've attached all of the limbs as well as the head of the turtle seal. I know there it looks more like a bird's but in the end I uh, molded it more and played around with it so that it looks more like a seal's. Okay so now that I have the have completed the sculpting part it was time to move on to the shading and adding more features with some color. 
So I actually used eyeliner to make the facial features like the eyes, the nose, and some whiskers for the seal. And um, then I moved on to using eyeshadow to shade the entire body and sculpture of the turtle seal. So this is the final product of my turtle seal sculpture. Uh, some problems and successes. So a problem was that I was originally supposed to paint this sculpture with actual paint, but I found that when I painted it, kind of obscured the lines and features that I had added with the mechanical pencil. So to add more of a shading uh, feature, I actually used eyeshadow, which I never thought would work, but um, so that's a success. Uh, another success is that actually, I really enjoyed this project. I liked learning how to sculpt and manipulate, manipulate the clay. It was really easy to attach. Um, the limbs you just smooth it over with your hands and if you mess up it's okay because it's really easy to work with clay. As for the comparison between the turtle seal and Deborah Baltus Guardians or Wing Dog sculpture, they both appeal to the social angle of nature uh, and they're both hybrid animals so they both reflect the overlap between science and science fiction, and they also represent the change of the known or true meaning that Deborah Bross tries to do with all of her sculptures. To conclude, Deborah Bross's unique style of work inspired me to create my own work of art. I had never really worked with Claire before, so I was surprised to see how my final project actually turned out. Thank you all for watching my presentation.